this, even though you can't quite say details yet, but what aspects of the leap from GPT-4 to GPT-5 are you excited about? I'm excited about being smarter, and I know that sounds like a glib answer, but I think the really special thing happening is that it's not like it gets better in this one area versus others. It's getting like better across the board. That's, I think, super cool. Yeah, there's this magical moment. I mean, you meet certain people, you hang out with people, and they, you talk to them. You can't quite put a finger on it, but they kind of get you. <laughs> it's not intelligence, really. It's like, it's something else. Help me! Help me! Is OpenAI in trouble? With GPT 4.5 release, backlash has been growing, with many calling it a major disappointment, and some even saying this could mark the beginning of OpenAI's decline. While OpenAI promoted GPT 4.5 as its largest and most knowledgeable model yet, it also tried to downplay expectations, insisting it wasn't a true frontier model, leading to confusion and frustration. Critics argue GPT 4.5 barely improves upon GPT 4, and some insiders suggest it was originally meant to be GPT-5, but because it failed to meet expectations, OpenAI rebranded it instead of releasing a true next-gen model. A Futurism article even claimed OpenAI screwed up, citing AI experts like Gary Marcus, who called it a nothing burger, and other industry voices who say the model is too expensive, underwhelming, and even worse than GPT-4 in creative tasks. But OpenAI's struggles go deeper than one model, Leaks reveal that multiple costly training runs aimed at building GPT-5 kept failing, forcing OpenAI to reconsider its next move. At the same time, competition is heating up. Companies like DeepSeek have started releasing powerful open-source AI models for free, putting OpenAI at risk of a massive price war that could shake its entire business model. Partners are leaving too. Figure AI, a robotics company that initially worked with OpenAI, terminated its agreement in favor of using their own open-source models. This highlights a growing issue. If companies can get competitive AI for free, why would they pay OpenAI? The challenges don't stop there. OpenAI has also been caught in controversy over AI research credibility. After funding a benchmark math test, Frontier Math, it was revealed that OpenAI had access to the problems and solutions before testing its models, leading many to question whether OpenAI manipulated the results to make GPT-4.5 seem better than it really is. If AI benchmarks can be gamed, then how much of OpenAI's reported progress is actually real? Meanwhile, OpenAI's massive valuation is coming under scrutiny, with reports that the company burns billions of dollars annually while facing rising competition from Google, DeepMind, Anthropic, and open-source models like Mistral AI. However, despite all the criticism, GPT-4.5 did top rankings in coding, math, and reasoning tests, proving it offers genuine improvements in specific areas. The real problem isn't just GPT-4.5 itself, but the growing cracks in OpenAI's long-term strategy, from losing top AI researchers to facing an open-source movement that threatens its dominance, to ongoing internal disputes over leadership and AI safety concerns. So what happens next? Is OpenAI falling behind? Or is this just a temporary setback before a massive breakthrough? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Is this the beginning of OpenAI's decline? or will they bounce back? Let me know what you think, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into AI. Thanks for watching AI Decoded, and I'll see you in the next one.